Welcome to Encore for the week of March 18th. Let's get right into the biggest news in mobile games. We have a very Hearthstone-centric episode this week because the America's Winter Championship Tournament was held this past weekend, and we got a big announcement from Blizzard and some news tidbits from the event. First up, Blizzard unveiled the next expansion for Hearthstone called Whispers of the Old Gods. Alongside the announcement, they showed off a cinematic trailer from the expansion, which will contain 134 new cards themed around the Old Gods, who are a collection of evil and incredibly powerful eldritch beings from the Warcraft lore. Whispers of the Old Gods will be released in late April or early May of this year, and while most of the buzz surrounding this past weekend's event was around the new expansion, Blizzard also released a really important patch for the current build of Hearthstone, which includes the previously announced new deck slots, doubling the amount of decks you can create from 9 to 18. The update also includes a new feature called Deck Recipes, which is another big push by Blizzard to help ease in new players. One of the most intimidating aspects of Hearthstone if you're firing up the game for the first time is learning how to create the best deck of cards. The new Deck Recipes provides suggestions of fully formed decks and is now integrated into the card collection manager. You'll be able to choose from three different recipes for each of the the game's nine different classes. Blizzard is labeling one of those three recipes as classic, which means it only consists of cards that can be found in the basic and classic sets. So that's all the news we got out of Blizzard from the event, but what about the actual championship itself? The winner crowned during the tournament was William Amnesiac Barton, who also happens to be the youngest professional Hearthstone player in the world at 15 years old. His road to the championship was not an easy one. Amnesiac lost twice on Friday and Saturday, which put him in a lower bracket for the final day of matches. But he fought back and defeated Nostam, who had previously beat him with a 3-0 sweep just the day before. Amnesiac's win in the American Region Tournament guarantees him in a spot in the 2016 Hearthstone World Championship, and he also takes home a $25,000 check for taking the top prize. Now that's a stupid amount of money for a teenager, so hopefully put it towards a college education or something smart like that, just don't blow it all on a crazy expensive VR rig. Moving on to a new game that is very much inspired by Hearthstone, which is obviously a trend that has existed for a while now and doesn't look like it'll die down anytime soon, and it makes perfect sense because Hearthstone continues to be a mobile game juggernaut, even two years into its existence, it only continues to gain in popularity. So PopCap is using their huge Plants vs. Zombies franchise as a way into this trend with their new spin-off, Plants vs. Zombies Heroes, the Lawn of a New Battle. Now the name doesn't go quite roll off the tongue like Heroes of Warcraft, but we still enjoy the wordplay. As far as the actual game, the two biggest elements it's taking from Blizzard's popular franchise is the turn-based gameplay and the mana system. So rather than a horde of zombies slowly breaching your home, you as the plant take turns battling it out with enemy zombies using sunshine as your mana. Where the game differs from Hearthstone is the lane-based arena that you're used to seeing in a Plants vs. Zombies game. The position of where you place your troop matters because it will be directly opposed by what the enemy places in the same lane. And like any turn-based game, your goal is to attack your opponent and whittle down their HP. This game adds a super gauge which fills up randomly while being attacked. Once the gauge is filled, your hero performs a super block and gains a super power that you can use instantly or bank for a later turn. So while Plans vs. Zombies Heroes has a lot of the same qualities as a game like Hearthstone, it's definitely more of a blend of the two popular franchises. PopCap will be releasing the game worldwide on iOS and Android in the coming months. And finally, we have a brand new trailer for you that literally just went live right before we started shooting. Hipster Whale released a teaser for a new Crossy Road game starring Disney characters, and it's appropriately named Disney Crossy Road. The new game will feature 100 characters from Disney and Pixar movies, and as we can see with Mickey Mouse and the teaser, they will all be getting the 8-bit treatment. There's no release info at all attached to the teaser, but it's safe to say we can expect this game to drop sometime later this year. And that's all the news we have for you on this week's edition of Encore. Are you excited for Whispers of the Old Gods? Are you excited for Disney Crossy Road? Let us know by tweeting at us, and we'll see you next time.